Hi you guys and a welcome to my channel. So for everybody that's peeking in and want to know about Andrea Michelle's cleaning lifestyle, definitely go ahead and watch and enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and maybe thumbs up my vlog today. Also, send me some motivational hearts in the comment section below because they keep me going like all the time. So anyways, you guys, I'm dealing with something going on with my nose, something going on with my throat. I'm breaking out in mountains here. I'm thinking it's almost that time of the month because it's a whole new month. Happy September, you guys. And I just can't wait for official fall to hit. I know it's a couple weeks from now and I cannot wait to decorate my home. I'm just waiting um, the week before fall to go ahead and decorate. I don't want to go ahead and decorate it and my house is still in a little bit of a shamble, okay? But we're going to declutter everything and we're going to get things done. But today, I wanted to go ahead and sit down and talk to you guys about how I became this this cluttered rat <laughs> um, in my house. And there's three stages of how I became this whole cluttered person. And I am going to tell you. So if you have time and you want to sit and you want to listen to my story, go ahead and grab yourself a cup of tea or some coffee. Because, girl, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm on it right now. <laughs> but you guys are more important. So I'm going to go ahead and start the vlog. So my story starts from, there's three parts, okay? So one part um, of my cluttering started from when I was pregnant with my son and I was with, oh, if you have hear anything in the background, that is my TV. I should turn it down, but I don't think it's that loud. Um, but if you guys can hear it, excuse it. But anyways, when I um, got pregnant with my son, I was... 28 years old and it was like the most joyous time of my life I was so blessed I was literally crying when I found out I was pregnant with my son because I had some personal issues that um, the doctors always told me you will never be able to have a child so this child to me is my miracle child Ashton he's six and he is a bundle of energy he's like a fireball of energy <laughs> So, I am so thankful I had him. You guys, I had him cesarean section, which is C-section. My pregnancy with him was so difficult, and it was stress. I was very stressed. I was very depressed. I was eating all the time, and I was swollen all the time, and I had gestational diabetes, and the list goes on. So, um, let's see. When I was with my son's father, you know, I was... I knew my son's father when we were in high school. We were best friends. We were friends, you know. Um, and then we decided to take it a little bit further than friends. And we were young. We were dumb. And been there, done that. Learned from that experience and never made that mistake again to be, you know, with someone like him. <laughs> um, and I actually, like, prayed for you know, pray to God that, you know, don't let me meet anybody like him. I don't want anybody like him. I want someone better than him, you know, but not perfect, you know. Um, but needless to say, um, we got our, our first apartment together. We were playing house, basically. And, you know, my mom, she's old school. She's from Alabama. She's Christian, and she don't play shacking up, okay? We're not going to be laying up having sex in her house. And... She's not there, okay? Or we're better yet. He's not even invited into the house. He got to stand outside on the porch, okay? Um, so that's how that happened. So, uh, like I say, we gathered our stuff up, got our money together, and we got our first apartment together. Thought everything was going to be cool. Thought everything was going to be nice. And so he bamboozled a baby into the house. So I wasn't sure. If you guys hear anything in the background, that's my air conditioner. Um, probably coming, coming back on. But, yeah. Um, he brought his son into the house, which was not my son. Stupid me. Accepted him because I love kids and I would never turn my back on a child, whether it's mine or not. Um, so I was helping him take care of his child. Um, he was telling so many lies and like I was stressed out, like I was stressed out. So, um, I, when I get paid, I was paying bills and then I would go to the store and shop, like shop, 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 like shop didn't care if I had like the money to do it or not I would just shop because that was what made me feel good and I was really mad about like him having another child and stuff like that but that wasn't my business you know um so like I said we all had a, some type of relationship where we were young dumb and you know um and I can say I can learn from a lot of stuff with that relationship <laughs> and so um fast forward Okay, so you guys know that I was buying stuff. Like, so I was already buying stuff. Get stuff, like, get all this off my mind that I was going through with him and his baby's mama and all of that. So fast forward, um, 
this when I really like jumped into like YouTube and I would have my main channel which is Andrea Michelle's Life um, I would buy stuff like constantly 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 it never made me happy never was satisfying um, because that channel is like I'm pouring out money out of my pocket that I do not have um, and I'm I'm what am I really doing here you know um, and I know it's to satisfy the people on that channel you know but the thing was nobody was ever asking me in the comment section below are you happy are you okay Andrea you know uh, you're a single mom why are you buying all this stuff you can't afford this and I figured like my cousin used to tell me as long as they they are enjoying it nobody cares you know what I mean as long as they can see what the doll she has out in your area they can go there and do the same thing you know and so I had to put that channel on hold okay so YouTube my main channel was a little bit of how I became a clutterer as well because I would buy stuff from the Dollar Tree and buy stuff from the Dollar Tree and continue to buy stuff from the 99 cent only stores and then I got tired of it and um, I look back and I say well man I spent like over a thousand some dollars on this stuff and I'm looking in my room like man I have like stacks of organizers stacks of journals stacks of pens and pencils I have stacks like Seriously, I have a I go to the store, forget that I have it at home, and buy it again. And when I go back and look, it's like sitting there. Like, I'm just like, oh my gosh. So, I cluttered stuff from doing hauls, a lot of hauls on YouTube. Then I had to slow it down a little bit and, you know, just try to figure out, like, what am I doing? You know, why am I spending so much money? You know what I mean? And, and I guess it was just to satisfy my other uh, main channel, like, satisfy the people that my subscribers on there. And I was having fun in the beginning, and then it started just making me feel depressed. Okay. So, two, YouTube, my main channel, had a part of my cluttering as well. So, fast forward back, me and my my ex um, father, my fiance, father of my child, my son, uh, we had our apartment. I found out he was had another son, like secretly. Um, I started spending money. I started buying stuff, even to the point where I was spending sometimes our rent money. And then um, me and his baby's mama got into it, and I was just like, you know, to be honest, I'm over it, and I left. But, like, hey, my lip is shedding or something. But, like, the, a couple of months later, I find myself right back at the apartment with my son's father. He's buttering me up. He's loving on me, and I'm feeling like a queen. I'm feeling like we're going to get back together. We're going to make this work. And he's apologizing, blah, blah, blah. A couple of weeks later, or fast forward, um, when I was 28, I got pregnant with my son, Ashton, which is six years old now. And he promised, like most guys, I promise the world, I'll be there for you. This is my son, blah, 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 blah. Um, and I was stupid to even like believe it, but, um, yeah, um, so he promised and I stayed and I, I'm thinking we're going to be a whole family here. And if I had the mind that I had, the mindset that I have as a woman, when I was a young woman, I would never sit around and wait. So I sit around and wait for him to come to doctor's appointments, never show up. I continue to believe that he will be there and he never was. So when it was time for me to give birth to my son I was whole scared a whole scared mama because I was becoming and I was bringing actually this life into this world as a single mom you know and my mom is a single mom of two beautiful children me and my sister and we both went to elementary um, middle school high school and college and um, so <clears throat> I was scared I was afraid and not knowing what I was afraid of was I afraid to just be out on my own? Was I afraid to be someone's mom? Was I gonna, was I gonna be a good mom? You know, it's all these different emotions. And by that time, I was praying to God. I was in the room before I had my cesarean section to have my son, and I just asked God to take all the drama, the stress, the toxins away, and forgive me of any sin that I've have sinned and anything verbally I've said to His dad. Just forgive me of just forgive me of it all and I like nobody believed me but kidding you I'm, I'm not kidding you like 1000% sure God was in that room he took my soul like he took like that bad part of my soul and I just feel like he 
trashed it because when I like when I left that hospital y'all I felt like a whole new person with this amazing child that I had this baby I didn't have a, a doubt in the world like how I was gonna make it I just I felt so good and the toxic had left like his father like I just when he called I got on the phone I told him what to do and it has been nothing since then and my son is six now so it since my son's been born he's never seen his dad and I don't condone any woman that has a child's father um, to not let them see them unless it is something terribly like dangerous you know but my son's father had opportunity opportunity to see his son but decided not to so this is the third thing that um, started me to declutter because when I went back to our apartment all his stuff was gone so when God removed him that toxic he was actually removing him away so I wasn't mad about it I was fine I was okay but I started getting depressed I started getting stressed I started having what, what do they call that um, postpartum and I had so much going on in my world but I was okay that he was gone that part was gone um, so I had to find somewhere else to stay because that rent there was so so much that one person could not pay that so I had my mom my, my uncle rest in peace to my uncle um, he came and helped and stuff like that moved me out most of the stuff that was in my apartment was everything was pretty much mine and some of the stuff was my ex um, ex son's father um, stuff as well so I put most of that stuff in the storage so Fast forward about a year ago, um, I had lost, well, actually I was on leave for my job, but then I went back to my job. I went back to my job. So it was nothing I did. It was nothing that happened. They just didn't have the hours for me. So I didn't have enough money to pay for my storage and the storage was like over a hundred some dollars so I just went to the storage company and let them know that hey I'm probably gonna have to come and get all my stuff out because I just don't have the money for it so they were okay with it they didn't even like send me to credit bureau she was like fine she's like just uh, go ahead and get your stuff out she's really being nice because she's like come at this time of the night and get your stuff because then they won't like try to you know make you pay and all that stuff so um, the lady was really, 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 like, really nice about it. Um, so I got all my stuff, and like two or three days later, then I got the condo here, because that's when I went back to work, and I knew that if I got my own place, because I was staying with my mom um, most of the time, and then when this um, this condo didn't fall through, when I thought it was gonna fall through, everything had to go to my mom's house. So I had to store stuff in my mom's house. And that was a pain because my mom was like not having it. Like she's like, you're gonna have to get this stuff up or get it out, donate it, or have a garage sale or something because it's just too much stuff piling up. So with the YouTube stuff of the halls and stuff piling up, with the stuff in my old apartment piling up, it was just like a headache, a ball of headache, and I was really going through it. And so um when I definitely decided to wake up and look at all this crap that I had like in my mom's house it was time to like move and so um the people at the condo they didn't have it ready like none of the stuff was ready so I told them it was okay I would clean it they clean it and then I would get like just do what I need to do and um finally they did get it ready and so I would I just like the move here was hectic because I had to move so much stuff here and then I had a newborn too as well and then um, do you guys if you're a mom do you miss when your child was a newborn like I miss my son when he was a newborn I mean like I sometimes I feel like I got robbed of him when he was a newborn because he was born 10 pounds and 21 inches and he was literally standing up standing up like a newborn like not like standing up by himself, but he was like with my help. Like he was, I was like, I've never seen a newborn like so strong. And that's why my baby is so strong now. Cause like back then he was just like one of those, those newborns. Like you ain't gonna tell me nothing. <laughs> no, but I miss those days. Um, but anyways, I just wish that I was like not so postpartum because most of the postpartum that I was going through kept me away from my son. 
um, because I wasn't ready. Like I wasn't ready. Like it wasn't that I wasn't ready to be a mom. It was. It was just like I wasn't ready to take on like, like, this extra person. You know, like I don't know. My mom wasn't working right when I was. You know, after I w had my son, I knew I loved him. I knew that he is a part of me. But it was just like I need to step back and take a breather and, you know, do what God wants me to do. And, um. But yeah, I, I moved everything into the apartment, into the condo apartment, and like literally, you guys, that that stuff. That's about to say that shit. But <laughs> that stuff literally has been like corroded all over this house. And like four months ago, I came in like my living room. You guys saw me do deep declutter that, and uh, this area over here, you saw me like deep declutter that, and the kitchen deep declutter that because it needed to be. But before you guys ever seen me, like before I even thought about making it my cleaning channel. I mean, it was hectic, like, one person trying to clean up one, like, one whole house. Like, I give it up to the people that clean the people house that hoarders. Like, that shit is real. Like, if you guys don't believe it, that shit is real. And I was sitting here and thinking, like, how the hell can I, excuse my French, how can I get mad, y'all, at the people on hoarders when I was going through something or phase just like it? But really, I don't never call myself a hoarder because I'm doing this by myself I'm cleaning by myself so that's more like a declutter rat you know like a clutter rat um because a hoarder just lays in lays in it like yuck <laughs> so that's how that's my story like it just began like finding out that my ex uh son's father um had a child while we were together then YouTube with buying all the stuff from Dollar Tree and stuff like that and just wasting money on products I already had at the house um, for my hauls and then like happened to move out of my apartment and put my stuff all in the storage and then have to take it all out and put it in the house my mom's house and then bring it here to the condo it was it was a struggle like it was like I'll tell anybody like if you don't need it and, I, and I'm going to say this firmly. <laughs> if you don't need it, don't get it. If you already got it at home, why do you need to buy a second one? Like, I can say that now because now I realize, like, I don't need half of this stuff in this house. Like, I really don't. So, by me decluttering everything and you guys watching just makes me want to do it even more. And then for you guys to send me heart and the love that you guys send me in the comments section below. And you guys talk to me and keep me on track. Like, I literally love it. Like, I love it. And... I always go to my comments and I always like just look back at each and every one of you um, comments of your encouragement, of your motivation, of your hearts. And I just feel love. Like, I'm so happy that I, I don't know if it's like accepted into the cleaning, like, you know, video, uh, cleaning world or what, but it just feels good to be a mom and loved by other moms that care, you know, like. To be honest, I don't have, like, best friend. I have, like, a friend, but I don't have, like, a best friend. But I see you guys as my best friends. All you moms out there, I see you as my best friend. Like, my bestie because it just feels so right. Like, I don't feel like I'm doing anything wrong. You know what I mean? Like, just trying to come my house. It's not, like, a funny matter. It's not, like, a what's wrong with you. You know, you guys don't see me those vibes. It's like a... You can do this. You can get this. You can get it done so that you can get you and your son back home. So you can be able to cook, you know, cook up some stuff. Okay. Cause I want to do more on this channel than, you know, obviously my cleaning, but yeah. Um, so that is the end of my story. So now I got to go upstairs and clean tackle actually this bathroom. So after this video, I'll probably post another video tomorrow. Just showing you guys. Um, how I declare my bathroom and redecorate it. So that's going to be like a whole process. So but anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.